from under the dome at Tropicana Field. MLB Network is live and on the... Air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Kansas City Royals and the Tampa Bay Rays. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Matt Andrees, a California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, I think the key for him is going to be locating strikes and forcing soft contact. He doesn't have dominant stuff compared to some other guys, but if he executes, he can still be very effective. We'll see how he does. Now at the plate, Whit Merrifield. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Second baseman, Whit Merrifield. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And the first pitch of the night here is looked at for ball one. And we are underway in Tampa. The 1-0. And back-to-back -back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2-0 now. A two and one count to the leadoff hitter for Kansas City. Into the corner and slicing foul. The two two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Kiermeyer. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. A chance now for a look at the Royals starting lineup. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, Sel Perez is definitely a guy to watch right now. The guy is in the middle of the lineup, and when he's in the middle, things just happen. Guys in front of him get on, he drives them in, and if not, he has the ability to get things started and set the guys up behind him. He's a force. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No balls in one strike. And Reese has a reputation as a strike thrower, although that doesn't often result in a ton of strikeouts. A typical start may find him with a low walk total and the ball in play a lot. Matty, he's what they call today one of those pitch-to-contact kind of guys. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He relies a lot on his defense at one of the keys. He's not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. With that said, he needs some defense behind him because he's not going to get a whole lot of swings and misses. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, d -Roll, Mike Fillmore, one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door, is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. And we're just underway from Tropicana Field. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Alex Gordon. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And I believe he broke the plane of the plate there. He most certainly did. It's a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One -one. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Kiermaier's got a read on it. And the inning is over. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. Nate Carnes will be the starter for the Royals in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, thanks, Matt. Nate Carnes coming on to pitch right now. Three-pitch guy. Not overpowering 92 to 94 miles an hour, but he does have that overhand caught a knuckle curveball. So fastball, knuckle curveball changeup. 
The key for Nate Kearns, having command of that knuckle curveball. If he has it, he could be really tough. And with that, a look at the Rays lineup card in this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Yeah, I'm pretty excited to watch Kevin Kiermeyer. I was talking about him earlier with some people, and I kept telling them, he's got some really good speed. If you watch him in this game, he's the type of guy, he's not going to shock you with his speed, but he can make an impact with his legs. We'll see if he gets that chance. Hey. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. One out, nobody on. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, man, he just tied him up in knots right there. The one two is taken for ball two. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Kevin Kiermeyer waits on deck. Popped him up. Dozier has a play. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Batting third. Center fielder. Kevin Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. First delivery to him on the way. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. Rip down the line, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a neck-high fastball that time. to third. Cuthbert loves it. Throw in time and the side is retired. An inning in the books tonight still scoreless here on MLB Network. So stepping in Salvador Perez as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Salvador Perez. Here comes the first pitch. Here's Hechevarria at shortstop. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Okay, here's how the race set up on defense. Today. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitch and step to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Chopped weakly to the left. Duffy fields it cleanly. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now in the box, Chesler Cuthbert. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Here's a little chopper up the middle. On to first, and they don't come any easier than that. A three hit. Here's Carlos Gomez. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Right fielder, Carlos. First delivery to him on the way. And that one just missed outside. Swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. One and one. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. Two balls and a strike to count.
Now the 2 1 pitch. He's in there for strike number two. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Here now the 2 2. Fouled away. Swung on and missed, so they'll keep Gomez off base here, and there's one away. Hey, guys, take a look at how Kansas City sets up on day. And we're fortunate enough to watch one of the best outfielders in the game. The gold glover resides in left field. Can go back on balls as easily as go in on balls. Strong, accurate throwing arm. Look for him to make a play today. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Takes a knee-high fastball. Hard on the ground towards short. There is Escobar on the first, and there were two down. Batting fifth, catcher Wilson Ramos. Here's the catcher Wilson Ramos. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. Two balls and no strikes to Ramos. The bouncer up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. He was in a position to wait for his pitch on 2-0, and, oh, and he got it to keep the inning hot. Well, this was a good start for the pitcher. First five guys, five up, five down, but the number six hitter proved to be a little bit more difficult, and that's a bullet hit. Yeah, absolutely right there, Dan. Just a nice A-B by the six-hole guy after watching his first five brothers take a seat. from the stretch and there's one well above the zone for a ball runs outside so it goes to 2 and 0 now The 2 0. Outside and low, 3 and 0. Yeah, it looked like he was going to cruise through this inning, but now a hit, the 3 0 count have changed that. Got to get back in the strike zone right here. Here it comes, the 3 0 is in there for strike one. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. The 3 1. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. Orlando is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Some of our nation's young minds. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. He's the number seven hitter, but he's They've leading off the, the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Now the 1-0 is an off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2-0 count. And both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. Three and zero to him now. Yeah. 
And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. And that'll bring up the Brazilian-born Paulo Orlando. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Drilled to first. And the Royals are in the hit column. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all ambush tactics. First pitch fastball, middle in, and he's able to drive that for a nice swing. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. And this one's in the dirt. The runners will hold, but meanwhile, the count moves to 2-0. and oh. Now the 2-0. -oh. This is in the air, out to left field. Waiting on it is Smith. One away. In now, with Merrifield. He flew out in his last at-bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Hey, when you're in a tough spot right there, that's an excellent job by the pitcher to get ahead 0-1. He has now got this offensive player on the defensive. Ball one. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Up Help around the two. face. Now the 2-1. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Dozier over at second. Orlando at first. One gone. That's in there. And it'll run the count to full. Three and two. Fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Coming to the plate now, Jorge Bonifacio. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First offering on its way. Hit on the ground to third. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. And the run will score, and the Royals are off to a 1-0 lead. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, d -Roy. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. One ball, one and a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. A one one. Is strike two swinging. Two men are on with two men out. Two and two. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. He pulls this one into right, and he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. 
One more look at the full extension catch that strands two men on the base. Here's Echeverria now, head to head against Nate Carnes. And he's hitless in three at bats. This one's down to third. And an offline throw, but boy, look at him stretch out and keep the foot on the bag. Great concentration there for the first out. Malik Smith, the next to hit. Up and in there with the first pitch fastball, it's ball one. Softly hit out to short. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone here in the home third. So two are gone here in the Tampa Bay third inning. And standing fourth is the left-handed hitting Denard Spann. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And Spann will watch another one miss. It's 2-0 oh now. Bases are empty here with two men out. 2-1 to the Rays leadoff batter. Two balls and two strikes to count to Spann. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. Got it. Rays go in order. One, two. Now at the plate, Salvador Perez. As we begin the top of the fourth. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Miller over to his left. He's got it one away. So we saw the fastball there as he got the pop out, and that'll segue right into our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. Both guys pretty close. Top speeds of 95 and 94. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Nope. And the slider stays outside, and he falls behind 2-0. Bases are empty, one man out. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. There's ball four. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, but he would have needed a telephone pole to hit that thing way out of the zone. Stepping into the box, Chesler Cuthbert. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now this is chopped foul to home plate. It's 0 and 1. Soler, base runner at first with one out. Just got a piece up the line. That winds up foul for the second strike. A oh, double play ball to second. Four. Miller's got it. Echeverria for one. On the first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Ready for another chance? Hunter Dozier. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Dozier. An imposing right-handed figure at six foot four inches tall. He's a corner infielder, normally a third baseman, but he's at the other corner at first base here in this one. Yeah, this guy's got sure hands. You know, sometimes I want I want to make this point. 
first basemen's get a bad rap because everyone thinks they could just go over hey. there and handle a bag, kick balls in the down. dirt. Not the case. First basemen's cannot be more important to helping out not only the pitching staff when they want to throw over, but also taking errors away from their infielders. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. At the plate, follow Orlando, a base hit in his first trip. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Low for ball one. Two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. A high fastball is in there. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. One and one, here it is. And he chased one there as this is bounced to short. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back to St. Pete after a quick word. So coming to the plate, Matt Duffy set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Matt Duffy. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And a fastball just a bit high. Great mid-A-B adjustment right there. Swung at the first high fastball and was able to take the second one. Two balls and two strikes to Duffy. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Great A.B. so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this one. And he fouls this one off. Another full count pitch home. Rounded up the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And that misses for ball four. The leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. This is only their second base runner of the game after that uh -huh. earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base, so we'll see if they can get something going here. So striding in, Kevin Kiermeyer. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Fastball in there for a called strike. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Leadoff man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound has got his work cut out for him. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. The two one is taken, ball three. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. A full hey. count to the Rays center fielder. The count is ball, three and two. Yeah, good sinker there, gets him swinging for the first down. 
boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Here's Carlos Gomez. There goes the runner. He swings and misses. Throw down. Short hop, but they got him. Great pick and tag to catch him trying to steal. Well, in my opinion, this one all came down to the catcher's footwork on that throw. That was just perfect. You have to use your feet to get your body into a good throwing position for an accurate throw. He did it just right, and he nabs another base runner. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. Gone! Well, he was on cruise control, just needing one more out to get out of the inning, but he came up with a plan. Base is empty. He didn't have to think about shooting one to the opposite field or shortening the swing to move the runners. He just wound up and let her rip. A solo shot is the result. Into the box, Brad Miller. First pitch misses to him. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Too much bite on the sinker, and he's behind 2 0 now. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Slap hard the opposite way. All coming on quickly here as he makes the diving catch. And it's a sparkler to take away a hit as that ends the inning. Maybe a rug burner two after that one as we get another look at it here. We return to Tropicana Field after this. Digging in to try it again. Alcides Escobar flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. A fastball down near the shoe tops. The two one home. Is looked at for ball three. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. 3-2 pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. How about second? So the batting order turns over now and set to go with Merrifield, who struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Now a southpaw up to throw in that Tampa Bay bullpen. Yeah. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Escobar aboard here at first with nobody out. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. And that'll bring up Jorge Bonifacio. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Here comes the first pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 tie. Two balls and no strikes for Jorge Bonifacio. The 2-0. Slap hard the opposite way, but he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. The left fielder, number four, Alex Gordon. 
Here's the left fielder Alex Gordon. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch of the at bat. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah it really does Matt but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. Before the 0-1 he'll check on first. And he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. Digging in now, Wilson Ramos, one for one after a single his first time up. Wilson Ramos. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a neck high fastball that time. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Hit hard on the ground a second. Merrifield brings it in. And a good throw gets him one gone. First baseman number 44, C.J. Crone. Here's C.J. Crone now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. One run, two hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone, and when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket of sassy. Thought about it, but he holds up on the knuckle curve one and two. The one two. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you could do with that. Textbook sinker. Here's Echeverria now. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. One run, two hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. A ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. You know, we haven't seen that pitch from him in a while, but it looks like he's got pretty good feel for it. If he's going to pick and choose when he's going to use it, he could steal some strikes that way. Two and two. Here now the two two. Towards second. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. We'll see Alex Gordon to start things out when we come back. We played five full, tied at one aside. Now at the plate, Alex Gordon. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Grounder down the line at third. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. On to the shortstop, but thrown away. 
Oh, this is a great way to start the inning. Now the go-ahead run is on second. A base hit away from coming across. I know it's only the sixth inning, but you'd love to claim the lead right now and let your bullpen carry the load the rest of the way. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit hard back up the middle. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. The batter, designated hitter, Jorge Soler. In is Jorge Soler. First delivery to him on the way. Owen won the count. Comes set and the 0 1. Zero. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, preferably off the corners. And get your team away. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was definitely pitching for it with a runner on third and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Here now is Chesler Cuthbert. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. No hits to this point. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. One left for Kansas City. Score remains tied one to one. Malik Smith, the next to hit. He'll lead and things off for Tampa ring. here in the sixth. First offering on its way. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. And now that Royals bullpen will get busy as we see both the southpaw and a right-hander get loose. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. The one one is a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Now the two one pitch. Two two doesn't catch the outside corner. It's a ball on deck. There you see Denard Span. He'll hit next. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Liner toward right center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Sometimes you get lucky in this game. I don't think pitch recognition wise he would choose to swing at that exact pitch. But you know what? Sometimes the result is the only thing that matters. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And we'll go back to the top of the order now for Denard Span.
First pitch coming. Here it is. Takes a knee-high fastball. You can tell this offense is getting frustrated, but this might be one you have to shower off. When a guy's locating like this, fastball at the knees and to both corners, it's going to be tough for them to do anything with it. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And he misses with it. One and one. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Grounded back up the middle. Merrifield picks it up. Escobar on to first, and they get them both. How about it? Third baseman. Matt Duffy. Stepping up now, Matt Duffy. It was a walk in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. And the ball. fastball just a bit high. I know you're standing on the mound. And you got two quick outs right here, but you have to respect the fact that this lineup can hit you and hit you in a hurry. Number two hole batter up at the plate. He has a chance to get on and get the big boys up. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. A 1-1. Is laid off for ball two. Grounded to short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. But the recovery throw will be in time to first. A good job that time of not giving up on the play, and the inning is over. Rays held in check here. Still tied one apiece. Back here at Tropicana Field in St. Pete. All square at one as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do, let's take a look at the game summary to this point. Sergio Romo is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Sergio Romo. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. First baseman, number 17, Hunter Dozier. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Obviously, the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do with him. That's nope. inside. 2 0. Oh. one's down to third backhanded and the throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven now batting center fielder and that'll bring up the Brazilian born Paulo Orlando Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And that one just missed outside. And now a left hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Yeah. 
And that's in there for his strike one and one. One out, nobody on. A two and one count for Paulo Orlando. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Wow, not sure what that was, but talking about having your mind made up, you're going to swing before the pitcher even throws a pitch. I don't know how you swing at that pitch. Here now the 2-2 is laid off, and the count runs full. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Bases are empty, one man out. This is lined to left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. I know they say sometimes that these things even out, but that was a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go ahead run. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Two out, nobody on. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Smith. And that's the third out. Royals go down one, two, three. Score remains deadlocked at one. Brian Flynn gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Brian Flynn. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Kevin Kiermeyer. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Missed with a slider. Popped him up. Cuthbert on the move. He's got it one away. The right fielder, number eight, Carlos Gomez. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Carlos Gomez. He went deep last time up. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Flynn. Originally from the Sooner State of Oklahoma, he was selected in the seventh round back in 2011. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. It's a swing and a high pop-up. And there's out number two. Now batter, second baseman, Brad Miller. Into the box now, Brad Miller hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Here comes the first pitch. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. And this one 
Collins too far inside. Ball two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Mm, pretty good cut there, but it's to two and one now. That was a good swing right there. Might be the best one he's had all night because he was right on it. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Merrifield scoops it up on the first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Down in order go the Raids. Score remains tied one to one. Whit Merrifield next to hit. And this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. Bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good 7th, 8th, and 9th inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. Here's the first pitch to him. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The 1-0. One, -oh. one and one the count now. The 1-1 one, one is looked at for ball number two. The 2-1 home. Misses above the zone for a ball. The 3-1. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. He's really struggled with his command in this game, no doubt about it. But to make things worse, he just lost one of the fastest guys in the ballpark. Digging in, Jorge Bonifacio. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A high fastball is in there. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Taken high and deep to right. Back goes Gomez. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Two very well-pitched games thus far. There you see it. Each team with a one and a whole lot of zeros. 1-1 one, one our score at this point in the ballgame. Things have been tight throughout. Here's the left fielder, Alex Gordon. For the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And he'll get back in safely. And again, a throw. Runner back safely. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 
Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Well, that stolen base was about as bang, bang as they come. And his show track demonstrates to us right here, it was his top speed that really made all the difference. He's definitely got wheels, and they were on display there. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. The one two is a sinker in the dirt. Here now the 2-2. And it's fouled away. Swing and a soft liner. Throw on to first. And Gordon is retired here for the second out. The catcher, number 13. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, he, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. Tough slider down low for a strike. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. Now the one and one pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. Gloved by Miller. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So they pick up no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. All tied at one and one. Seth Maness goes on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Seth Maness. Stepping into the box, Wilson Ramos. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Wilson Ramos. First delivery to him on the way. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. Sinker, one ball, one strike. The one one misses for the second ball. In time. Very nicely done there at short for the first down. So digging in now, CJ Crone. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. One.
down half, nobody on. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Here's Echeverria now. And the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. at that one either it's 2-0 this inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there as a reliever you can't let that happen nothing you can do about what's already happened and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box now the 2-0 home 3-0 and oh, now Malik Smith is on deck Here it comes on 3-0. and oh. And that low ball four. And that hole at that, I feel like he really didn't want to challenge him. And I'm really surprised by that because I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after. Malik Smith the next to hit. He's working on a one for two game so far. First offering on its way. And the changeup is way low that time. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Good job by the catcher to keep the ball from getting too far away and allowing that base runner to get into scoring position. That keeps the double play in order, which they need, seeing as they've already given up one run in this inning. Line towards center field. Orlando is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting by designated hitter, Denard Fan. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And we'll go back to the top of the order now for Denard Span. First pitch coming. Here it is. A changeup over the inside corner. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. and one delivery and he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate Echeverria leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning ball. down and away it's a ball in two strikes yeah, two. as a hitter you got to be staunch in your game plan you know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. In the dirt here. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And that'll hurt as the runner will move into scoring position now. Well, the intent there with that two-strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with. But there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up three bases. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Runner in scoring position at second with two down.
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Orlando's on the move. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One for the Rays on the solo home run. Last chance coming up for the Royals, and Tampa's taking a two to Welcome back to this MLB Network broadcast from inside the trop as you get a nice look outdoors at nearby Tampa. Alex Colomay comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. So here's the Royals DH. Jorge Soler 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Change up low, 2 0. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. From the wind up, the 2 0 pitch. Aye. Looks at a curveball over the inside yeah. corner. That is a pro pitch right there. 2 old curveball for a strike. You make those kind of pitches, you'll be around for a long time. Now the 2-1 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermaier giving chase. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting. Harry Payton. Here now is Chesler Cuthbert in the past against Alex Colomay. He's just one for six. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strike. One run game here in the top of the ninth. This is upstairs, 2-0. and oh. And that's taken for a strike on the inside corner, 2-1. and one. Popped him up. Duffy waits on it. And that's the second out of the inning. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. And he'll take a look at ball one couple of walks for him thus far. In for a strike, it's one and one. Two out, nobody on. Fastball that just misses inside. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate in a one-run game. He doesn't want to walk it, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. Swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. And now this relatively sparse crowd comes to their feet one final time. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, we were really treated to a good one today. 
bottom of the eighth proved to be the difference, though, and a good job here in the ninth to close the book on this one. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one, the final score. The Rays came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Sergio Romo takes home the win. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody.